It's just before Thanksgiving in the Fortis Academy Culinary Arts Program. There's lots of preparation and anticipation. Right, pull your hand away, it's hot. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Fortis Academy's executive chef, Tierra Gard Marenko, better known as Chef T, and her students are preparing a feast. But before they could get to the nitty gritty of handling food, students had to go through a certification process. And then we're gonna take our rolling pin and actually go across the top. Chef T used the Surf Safe program through the National Restaurants Association, which meant weeks of training and drills. Chef is melting. All right. I try to make it as fun and interesting as possible because unfortunately it's not really. It's all that sanitation and uh, the cleanliness, you know, the hazards in the kitchen, and they just want to get their hands into the food. Almost and we talk about all of the, the possibilities of what could go wrong, and we do it in a very humorous way, but it's so that they remember it. Then we take off a few weeks, we work on learning recipes, stuffing it with butter, and just, <laughs> oh man, it's gonna make it so good. Then we bring it back, we review, and then we get the certification. And that just kind of, um, it gives them the time to implement some of what they've learned in the kitchen so that when they go back to that paper, when it's black and white, it's no longer confusing. Excellent. This one looks fantastic. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna take that one home, okay? We're not gonna send that to the board. Does that work for you? Chef T and her students have formed a strong student-teacher connection. She's impressed with them. She says student Jasmine Flores thinks like a chef. So we could do that. I've never had a chef before and the fact that I was able to trust her and able to get to know her as well because I am an observant person. I get to learn every day, learn new things that I'm able to do all of this that I didn't even know I was capable of. And for Julian Guerrero, he knows this means an increase in pay and he has aspirations to complete managerial training. Uh, before I graduate, I'm trying to get my manager so that way instead of just being the line cook, prep cook, I could ar already get hired as a manager. It's more on the business side of things and, and being a, a hostess and most of it is just hospitality and I think I'm pretty good at that so I should have no problem passing that. That's, that's the next step for me. And after hours and days of preparation, the Fortis Academy chefs present a scrumptious Thanksgiving meal for HCDE board members to feast upon. Did you make the pumpkin pie? Yeah. From scratch. From scratch. Oh my goodness. I think everyone's going to enjoy the food. That's just mostly what I'm hoping for, or I know it's going to be. Because we make it, we make it uh, with love.